as well as other natural catastrophes, which is why our government has presented uh, the most comprehensive plan to fight climate change in the history of Canada. More than 100 measures, close to $200 billion of investment, a number of new regulatory initiatives, and in fact, the last time our emissions, uh, our, our greenhouse gas pollutions level was so low in Canada was when O.J. Simpson was on trial and the thing you're holding in your hand was invented but not commercialized yet. So our plan is working, our emissions are coming down, but we have to do that in a way that helps communities, helps workers and supports the economy. And that's exactly what we're doing. Well, I mean, as I said, we, we are on track, according to the, uh, the, the Canadian Climate Institute, for the first time in the history of our country to meet our interim 2026 targets and to meet our 2030 targets. It would be the first time in the history of our country that we're able to meet a climate change target. We know that more needs to be done, and that's what we're actively engaged, uh, working with our partners in the provinces, territories, municipalities, private sector, indigenous nations. I should also mention the fact that we have now uh, the first ever national adaptation plan. Again, working with municipalities, with provinces, territories, indigenous leaders, the private sector to see how we will adapt to a changing climate in Canada.